The undead have a very low running speed. The party flees safely, but the soldiers aren't far behind. You're near the edge of the forest when you run across... Oh, shit. Is that me? You're gonna play? Yeah, little brother. Pavel, the arrogant gnome bard, joins your party. Arrogant? You're not used to words that big, are you? Damn. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? There's probably a squirrel somewhere that you could fight. I don't need violence to solve my problems. I just need the power of music. This is awesome. Fine, but don't slow us down. In the time you've been chatting, the army of undead has caught up to you. The first cohort launches iron spears directly at Elamon. What do you do? I, I heroically jump in front of Elamon, using my axe to block each attack. You block almost every attack, but one makes it through. Take six damage. Hey, thanks. Do you have to be the hero? That's just selfish. The army is still advancing. What do you do next? I trip the bard and run. What? Hey! You stick your foot out. He tries, but Pavel's little legs aren't long enough for him to dodge you. He falls the whole three feet to the ground in slow motion. As your allies escape, the undead soldiers approach your fallen body. Thirsty for blood, after thousands of years, they eagerly rip you limb from limb. His cries of agony, dissonant C-sharp, follow you as you flee. This game is dark. You burst forth into the majestic meadow, horizon to horizon. All you can see is lush, green fields full of birds, flowers, and dragonkin. What? Instead of chasing you, they circle around to set a trap and you just walked right into it. As the dragonkin ahead prepare to attack, the army of undead arrive behind you. <sighs> We're surrounded and screwed. Ah, come on, Elamon. I'm sure you've got some sweet spell that'll save us. Uh, I do have searing crystal. Perfect, searing crystal these fuckers. You don't get it. This isn't just another battle spell. This crystal is like, like dropping a nuke. It'll kill everything, including you and me. Actually, you did grab Durgron's bracer of fire immunity. Whoever wears it would survive. See? Problem solved. <sighs> but there's only one bracer. <laughs>